welcome back to This Mobile Life. My name is Emily. And I'm Dustin. And this is the third part in our three-part mini-series on RV Electrical. Today we are going to be talking about solar and generators and what that can allow you to do. Right, so in our previous videos we talked about batteries, we talked about shore power, we talked about charging and discharging and adapters and surge protectors. All kind of basic stuff you're going to get with most RVs. Um, additionally, a lot of RVs will come with, uh, well, motorized RVs typically will come with some form of generator. Um, Tobles don't always come with them, but you can always add one. And having a generator with you, whether it's onboard or portable, and it's sitting on the ground next to your RV, can allow you to stay in places like this. Uh, as long as you have fuel for the generator, you can run your generator. Now, you don't have to run your generator the whole time. You can run it just long enough to recharge your batteries and then recharge your 12 volt system if you remember from the previous videos and then use your fridge and your fans and your lights and uh, depending on how your RV is set up maybe even your air conditioning uh, so it's, it's an option right and now they are noisy they can be kind of smelly they require maintenance uh, one of the pros of an onboard generator that's one that's physically mounted on and under or somewhere on your RV uh, one of the pros of those is they're really easy to use. It can be really icky outside and you can literally push a button, just turn on the generator, fire it up, and you have instant power, which is... A, they well, tend to be quieter, too. Yeah, they tend to be a lot quieter, too, than the portable ones. They have their own mufflers and exhaust, and uh, they're, they're very handy. Um, the downside to them is they are a lot more expensive to maintain. You usually have to take them to a shop. They can be really hard to get to. Uh, like our generator on our current motorhome, is underneath the back of the RV and really the only way to get to it is to put the RV on a lift or to back up over some big overhang or something like that. Even doing a simple oil change is kind of tricky on that one. The pros of a portable one is they're very portable. You can literally pick them up and put them wherever you want to go and if you have an issue with it you can take the whole generator into the shop and not have to bring your RV or you can just do your own service on the generator. One of the downsides of portable generators is you're gonna have to fill them up with fuel a lot. Um, now they do make propane ones, they do make gas ones, uh, diesel ones, uh, all kinds of different types, but you're gonna have a smaller fuel tank, so you're gonna have to fill it up more often, um, but they're, they're a lot cheaper. Uh, now, if you have an onboard one, it's gonna tap into the main fuel system, whether propane or diesel or gas of your RV. So that's one way to get power. The other way is to have solar. Now, uh, we did not have solar for the first uh, almost two years of travel. Our motorhome had a huge generator so we could run the entire motorhome off of it, but the, uh, we had no solar. So we had to run the generator and a lot of parks won't let you run the generator at night. Um, plus it costs money. You have fuel and it costs money. They have certain hours where you're able to do it and if you get caught running it outside those hours, if you were gone that day and you weren't there. Sorry, loud ATV on the beach. If you were gone during the rentable hours, then it creates a little bit of a problem, yep. which is where solar comes in. Yep. And, and the size of your battery bank. If you're going to be needing to run off a battery for a long time, if you're going to come out to a beach like this, you can stay. This is a Texas beach. It's a 27 mile long beach. You can camp out here for free for as long as you want, but there is no power, right? So you have to have some way to run your refrigerator. You have to have some way to um, you know, charge up your batteries for your lights and fans and all that kind of stuff. So a bigger battery will let you do that. Solar power, on the other hand, is free. Once you have the equipment, your system's gonna make electricity as long as the sun is shining and you have a battery bank to put it into. Uh, and you can run it indefinitely. If you, it, it, you have to kind of balance how much energy you're gonna use versus how much you can produce. <coughs> but, <coughs> excuse me, but it's basically free energy once you have the system. And it really comes down to what kind of camping you wanna do. You might not need a whole lot of solar and much of a or generator, generator. Yeah. Yep, if you plan on going to parks all the time where you have full hookups. So that's where you sitting down and figuring out what you like, uh, don't like, what you, where you wanna be able to go will help you answer those questions. Totally, and uh, one, of the, one of the other things to think about is, you know, if you're gonna be traveling a lot, how much do you want to spend to stay at a campground? Because if you have a solar system and it's charging your batteries and your entire RV can run off your batteries like ours can, you don't have to spend as much for 50 amp hookups or even 30 amp hookups. Maybe you go for a day or two and stay out in the wilderness or at a state park with no hookups and then you stop at a park that has hookups and do whatever you need from a power standpoint. Lots of options for you based upon what kind of camping that yep. you want to be able to do. Yep. At the end of the day, 
just understanding what the stuff is, that it exists, and how, how it all works together will take you a lot farther in figuring out what the right RV setup is for you, how you want to use it, where you should put your investment, or where you should invest your money, um, just to have the, the most fun. The last thing you want to worry about is not having enough power. Like when we stayed in the Everglades, there was no hookups. We were there for two weeks, and we needed to make sure that we had a way to charge up our batteries so I could work during the day, you guys could cook and be comfortable during the day, and we could make it through the night until the next day. So having a generator or a solar will, will definitely give you that capability. Be sure to leave any questions you have um, about your particular rig, what you like to do, um, if you have questions about you know, just anything in regards to the solar or the generator. We've gone through a couple of different iterations now, and so we can definitely help with that. Love to answer questions. And if you want to go deeper into this, let us know in the comments section. We'd be happy to deep dive into any one of these subjects. Uh, we've learned a lot doing this for the last couple of years. So, otherwise, thanks for watching, and we'll see you out there.